Hey y'all, um, about a week ago, I noticed that I had these little bitty tiny um, bugs on the underside of my tomato plants. Long story short, after doing a lot of research, they're called rose aphids, aphids and they're like little bitty tiny um, brownish red color bugs and they're sucking the sap out of my tomatoes. So the first thing that I did is put DE all over them. I mean like coated them down so I went out yesterday um, to tie a few up and turn the water on because it's been it's been like this past week has been really really dry and really really hot so they needed a little bit of water and I noticed that the DE has not done any good so I got back on the internet and done a lot of reading and the only thing that I have on hand with me that may work is some garlic so I got this spray bottle and I filled it up with really warm water and put a lot of garlic in there so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down to the garden and I'm gonna get the water hose and I'm gonna spray off as many as I can and then once I spray them off I'm gonna use my garlic mixture and just spray my plants down and apparently the garlic is supposed to ward off the aphids so hang tight i just jumped on the ranger we're fisting to head down there and get started i just passed this so let me give you an update on this elderberry plant have no idea what happened to this one literally no earthly idea um it looks like the tops may be still hanging on some my other ones that are over behind the chicken coop over there and the other one that's on the other side of the house they're both they look great they look amazing um not sure what's going on with that one we did get it in the bucket though um and i'm just going to keep watching it uh it looks like we still have some life in the top of it so we're just going to leave it there for now There's one that needs to be picked. Yay, that's our very first one that I've seen. I haven't walked the garden in a few days. Oh, there's one. So there's one that needs to be picked. Yay. Um, several more zucchini. There's one down there. Man, these things have really come out since the last time I've been out, out here. There's a bud there that's ready. There's one down there that's ready. Not ready. It's there. Several more down there. Oh, I see a huge one down here. Oh, my heavens. All right, guys. Y'all got to get a grasp of this thing because I'm going to pick it. Look at that. Compared to my hand. That sucker's huge. Okay, so all of this looks good. Our, our uh, corn for the fall to decorate with. All right, and we're gonna come back to our tomatoes because I wanna show y'all what's going on with those. Pole beans have grown up and vined beautifully. We are having a little bit of yellowing at the bottom. So um, we're just trying to, we're going to kind of watch that and make sure there's no deficiencies there. But so far, I mean, everything's growing up and doing well. Okra and sunflower seeds here, two rows of okra. Sunflowers, they're up and big. No blooms out here yet, but they're getting there. 
These are also sunflowers, a different kind. That one's almost ready to open up. Cucumbers over here. We've always had so much luck with cucumbers. This year, this spot, they're just, they're not growing like they usually do. So if we don't get that many, that's okay because I have like a million cans of pickles. <laughs> And uh, no, we, me and Colby like to eat them fresh, but the kids don't. They only like to eat them as pickles, so we're good there. Corn, we've had a little bit of yellowing at the bottom. Um, if you can see that with the way the sun is. So we have treated this twice with blood meal. Um, and so we'll see how that does. But anyway, here's an, that was an update overview of the whole garden. But I wanted to show you what is going on with our tomatoes. This is pretty uh, aggravating considering that we have a, a lot of tomatoes. And you see that I just watered and they just look puny. Well, this right here is why. Let me see if I can get it to focus as good as I want it to. I don't think I'm going to be able to. But there's these little bitty tiny I mean like T90 let's see if I can get a shot here little red bugs you can see them um, on the undersides of my plants and when I come and tie these up I was just smushing manually smushing with my hand I would just come on this new growth I mean you can see them over here on this one and I was just smushing them with my hand but I've got to get a way to control them because they're sucking the sap out of my tomatoes and they're just kind of, they're stunning the growth. They should be somewhat bigger than this. And they're also making them look just puny. Like they're not as big and strong and healthy as they should look. And if you can see the red on that, there's a few on there. And they are literally sucking my tomatoes down to almost nothing. So, my goal is I'm going to go through with the water hose that I just turned on and drug down here. I'm going to go through and spray these suckers down with a hard stream of water. And then I'm going to come back with my garlic spray and just kind of coat them down. So, here we go. Now it's spray time. You noticed if you were able to see a few times I stopped watering and put the water hose down and picked up a rock. Found several slugs, several slug families just kind of grouped together. So when I saw those, I would just smash them with a rock. Um, the aphids seem to be worse on this side of the garden and not as much down there. So I'm thinking that maybe the ladybugs are working their way around. Um, they're definitely not as bad down there as my first, my front plants were almost covered in them. The back ones were not that bad at all, but that's where the slugs were. So more on the back side. Didn't see any slugs up here, slugs down there, rose aphids up here. So 
it's the battle of the garden y'all i'm just gonna get my spray get these things sprayed down okay so here's my bottle of garlic and water so i'm going to and if i think about it before it gets dark i'm gonna come back out here with some salt and put a little bit of salt around just sprinkle a little bit around the bottom of my tomatoes well because of all the slugs so here i go spraying some garlic and water and i'm just going to kind of mist these things down and i'll have to give you all an update on how it works Okay guys, so I just finished up, and if anything, at least I sprayed all of them off. I killed a bunch of families of slugs, so that in itself makes me feel a lot better. And my garden smells like pizza, so um, I'll just have to give y'all an update of where we are. And I showed y'all the zucchini a while ago. I got several more. There are several more that are almost ready and several more blooming, so super excited about that. We're going to put this along with supper tonight, along with some potatoes that I dug up from the other raised beds, and have ourselves a good meal tonight. Happy homesteading, y'all.